Hold on, hold on. Before you take that multivitamin this morning, you need to hear this. Something millions of Americans swallow every single day, something we've been told is good for us, could actually be raising your stroke risk while you sleep. I'm not talking about some weird supplement from a gas station. I'm talking about a vitamin that's probably sitting in your bathroom cabinet right now, one that doctors used to tell everyone to take. And here's the crazy part. The danger isn't from taking too little of it, it's from taking too much of it. Stay with me for the next 15 minutes, because what you're about to learn could seriously save your life, or the life of someone you care about. And no, I'm not going to make you wait until the end to find out which vitamin it is. I'm not that cruel. We're talking about vitamin E. Yeah, that vitamin E, the one in half the bottles you own. Now, before you think I've completely lost it, let me be super clear. Vitamin E isn't poison. Your body actually needs it. It protects your cells from damage, helps your immune system, and keeps your skin looking good. But here's where things get scary. A huge study in the Journal of the American Medical Association involving thousands of people followed for years found something shocking. People taking high amounts of vitamin E supplements had a much higher risk of hemorrhagic stroke. That's the kind where a blood vessel in your brain actually bursts. And we're not talking about a tiny bump in risk. Some studies showed up to 22% higher. 22%. Let that sink in for a second. Now you might be thinking, but wait, my doctor said antioxidants are good for me. And you're right, they are when you get them from real food. But here's the twist nobody talks about. How your problem deepens. Vitamin E does something weird in your body. It makes your blood thinner. At normal amounts from food, this is actually helpful. It stops clots from forming, which is great for your heart and blood vessels. But when you start taking those mega-dose supplements, like 400 IU, 800 IU, or even 1,000 IU pills, you can go too far. Your blood becomes too thin. And when that happens, your blood vessels get weaker, especially the tiny, delicate ones in your brain. It's like Goldilocks, but way more serious. Too little vitamin E, bad. Too much, also bad. You need the amount to be just right. And here's what really bothers me. More than one out of 10 American adults take vitamin E supplements. That's over 30 million people, and most of them have no clue they might be putting their brain health at risk. How did we get here? It all started with good intentions. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, scientists got really excited about antioxidants. Lab studies showed they could stop damage to your cells, the kind of damage that makes us age and get sick. The thinking seemed perfect sense. If antioxidants are good, then more antioxidants must be better, right? Wrong. So, so wrong. Scientists figured out that taking high doses of single vitamins doesn't work like eating actual food with vitamins in it. It's like taking the engine out of a car and expecting it to drive without the rest of the parts. Your body needs the whole package, the fiber, the plant compounds, and everything else that comes together in real food. Quick question. How many of you have a drawer or cabinet just packed with supplement bottles? Be honest. No judgment here. Okay, maybe a little judgment, but only because I used to be exactly like that. What's actually happening in your body? First, vitamin E messes with vitamin K, which your body needs to make your blood clot. Your body keeps a careful balance. Vitamin K helps your blood clot when you get hurt, while vitamin E keeps things flowing smoothly. But when you dump a ton of vitamin E into your system, it tips the scales. The balance gets thrown off and your blood can't clot properly anymore. Second, when you take really high doses, vitamin E can actually start damaging your cells instead of protecting them. Yeah, you heard that right. The thing that's supposed to protect you can hurt you when you take too much. It's like that friend who's great in small doses, but exhausting when they won't leave. Third, and this is the part that connects straight to stroke risk, 
high doses of vitamin E can make your blood vessel walls weaker over time. Think of your blood vessels like garden hoses. When they're strong and flexible, they handle pressure easily. But when they get weak or brittle, they're far more likely to burst when things get stressful. The danger zone. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but my supplement only has 200 IU. That's not that much, right? Let's talk numbers. The amount of vitamin E adults should get each day is 15 milligrams, which is about 22 IU. That's it. Most vitamin E supplements have anywhere from 200 to 1,000 IU. Do the math. That's 9 to 45 times what you should be getting. And here's the sneaky part. Vitamin E is fat-soluble, which means your body stores it instead of getting rid of it. Unlike vitamin C, which you just pee out, vitamin E builds up in your system. So even if you're taking just 400 IU a day, month after month, year after year, you're piling up dangerous amounts. Those studies that found higher stroke risk were looking at people taking 400 IU and up every day for long periods. Who's at risk? You're at higher risk if you already take blood thinners like warfarin or aspirin, have had a bleeding stroke before, or have bleeding problems, are over 50 since your blood vessels naturally weaken with age, take other supplements that thin blood like fish oil or garlic pills, have uncontrolled high blood pressure. And here's something that should worry you. A lot of people don't even know they're taking vitamin E supplements because it's hiding in their multivitamin, protein powder, or energy drink. You could be getting too much from different sources without realizing it. The solution. Okay, I promised you answers, not just problems. So let's fix this. Step one, check your supplements right now. Add up all the vitamin E you're getting from multivitamins, protein bars, or powders. If it's over 400 IU a day, you need to rethink it. Step two, talk to your doctor. Don't stop cold turkey, especially if you have health conditions. Have a real conversation about whether you actually need extra vitamin E. Step three, get your vitamin E from real food instead. You literally can't eat enough almonds or sunflower seeds to reach toxic levels. Trust me, you'll get full long before that. Great food sources include almonds, sunflower seeds, spinach, avocados, butternut squash, and olive oil. These foods give you vitamin E plus fiber, healthy fats, and other nutrients that work together naturally. And yes, you can still have your avocado toast. Please do. Avocado toast isn't the problem. The problem is thinking a pill can replace real food. The bigger picture. This isn't just about vitamin E. It's about how we think about supplements in general. We've been taught that more is better, that there's a pill for everything. But your body isn't built that way. It evolved to get nutrients from food, not factory-made capsules. The supplement industry is worth over $50 billion in the U.S. alone. They want you to believe you need their stuff. But research keeps showing that, for most people, eating real, balanced food gives you everything you need. Supplements only make sense when they're targeted, like vitamin D in winter, B12 for vegans, or iron for deficiency, and always under medical guidance. Look, I'm not trying to scare you off supplements forever. I'm trying to empower you. Now you know something most people don't. You're part of the group that asks why, that takes charge of their health in a smart, informed way. The fact that you're still watching tells me you care. You're not chasing magic fixes. You want real, science-backed answers. So here's your challenge for this week. Go through your supplements. Look up each one. Ask yourself, do I actually need this? Is there proof it works? Am I getting too much of something good? And if this video helped you out, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button, tap the bell icon so you never miss my next video, and drop a comment below to tell me what you think. I'm not here to sell you supplements, meal plans, or miracle nonsense. 
I'm here to give you the real truth about health and fitness, backed by science, delivered in a way that actually keeps you hooked.